After spending three days in Rome, it was time to up anchor and head over to Malag, giving us a chance to restock and catch up on small jobs on board. We've got wind, so we're off. Five knots. We've got ten knots of wind. It's just coming off the port bow. So we're close hold. Which means Paige has to winch the sail all the way in. and some laundry, we can go to the calf, a bit more civilization that we've not seen in a couple of days. Nova's happily on a pontoon, it was my first ever one. Um, didn't go too bad but uh, I nearly fell in over one of the <laughs> ropes but we're here in one piece so we're just going to tidy up, make sure all the ropes are all away and then we're going to head over, pay for our pontoon for the night and then uh, head over to the calf and get some lunch because it's lunch time so we're all sorted. We're off for a meal in Malag. Uh, we spent the day here. We wandered around, got some fresh fruit, fresh veg. Veg. Um, You're a veg. And now we're off for a nice meal. Matthew's all excited. We're off I'm to go buy a him a new winch handle. A new winch handle. So it's like Christmas this morning on Nova. But he's uh, lost the keys, so we're not getting out yet. Well, it's not locked. Wait. I just don't know where the keys are. I think they might be in the other trousers. Dum dum dum. You happy? I am. Where are you going? Buy a new winch handle. Why? Because the ones we've got a shock in. And Paige needs one because of the little baby arms. <laughs> I get I get muscles like Popeye soon. Yeah, I'm stocked up on my spinach. Maybe. Matthew's had a cheer me up ice cream after the co-op machine didn't scan his items quickly. And the chandlery didn't sell any winches. Winch handles. Winch handles. Not happy. I mean, an ice cream to give yourself up. Since we're staying on the pontoon for another day, we've got a few jobs to do around the boat. So I'm going to head off and do the do the laundry. And Matthew's in the front of the boat in the four peak, just sorting out the drains and stuff. So. We're going to go and have a look and see what he's doing. Hopefully he won't break anything. What's going on, Ronald? I'm fitting the shower drain. It was uh, leaking. I brought some silicon. And now I'm going to reattach and screw back in. This is what happens when Matthew's working on the boat and can't find his tools. 
there is stuff everywhere. The floorboards are up. That's not finding me tall. Everything's a mess. That's because I'm working down there. Everything's a mess with him. We'll have to show you one that when Nova's not a wreck, but there you go. He's taking us over to pieces. I can't find my silicon gun. And he can't find his silicon gun, so he's going to empty this cupboard. <laughs> Nova. We've had no rain in Scotland so far so it's very salty up there. So he's uh, putting the water on deck and scrubbing it with a brush, making all the decks nice and clean again. And I'm going to grab my stuff, go for a shower and get some laundry done. Wait. What have you done? What have you done? <laughs> I'm not telling you on camera. Tell me what you've done. No. What have, you, what have you dropped into the water? The top of this. It sank. <laughs> Matthew, DIY man. It's not needed, but now I'm going to have to completely remove it and clean it up and reseal that hole the old way. I'm just going to leave this on for in case I wanted to put a cable in. <laughs> Can't now. After spending two nights in Malag, it was time to head off towards our new anchorage. We just left Malag Harbour. It was my first time taking the ropes off and hopping onto the boat while she was moving from a pontoon. We're heading over to Isla Sky. I think it's lock slapping or slaping. I'm not quite sure, but I'll put the spelling below. Uh, it should take a few hours. We're not sure on the wind yet, but hopefully we'll get some sailing in because we haven't done it for two days. Mr. Kipling's are on the floor. Matthew is an unhappy Matthew. <laughs> Today's lesson is how to hoover whilst healed over. You wedge your feet like this and you get your Dyson. And you, your Dyson dies halfway through so we've got bits of pie on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> ah, and that's the fail of lesson, today. Keep your Hoover charged up. <laughs> yep, <laughs> bigger lesson is keep your Hoover charged. Whoops. Right. It survived. Oh, he's the champion. He's a little bit fluffy. Fluffy pie. Do you want him? He oh. yeah, will be sacrificed. Do you want a pie? Yeah, I want me pie. We are cruising along at five knots. The wind's nice and the views are nice, and we should be at Sky in a few hours. And there's pie everywhere downstairs. So where are we off to? This is us. We just come round the point. And we're going up here to look slapping. Or however you may pronounce it. Mm. Going in here. We'll be anchoring around there somewhere. Slapping or sleeping. Um, there, there are mooring boys which we didn't know about, so we might have just put our anchor through a fish farm. But there isn't any boys around, so I don't think that's the case. But for tonight, we have the most beautiful views. If I do this, look at these mountains, they're amazing. 
and they're right all the way around so yeah we've got an awesome view for tonight we should be able to see some cool stars so we're all happy since we're all anchored it's time to do our final logbook entry for today 14.50 hours UT that's why I do everything in what's my log reading? The log reading is 18.18 .18 nautical miles so we're here at lock slapping and I'm thinking we'll go around and go up to lock harport that should be on the side of the mountain somewhere no there's all moored up out there and we're heading out into town to the calf and to see if I can post my postcard Box. Da. Tomorrow morning. Dum, 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 dum. Go on. Da, da, da. Some water getting in, I think. Yeah, we found the post box after a hike up the mountains. Back to Nova. Back from the village where we finally managed to post Paige's postcard back to her parents. It's only two days late. Back now, and Paige is going to cook me some dinner. What are we having, Paige? We are having chicken noodles. Chicken noodles. Sweet chilli and garlic. Sweet chilli and garlic. Like Gordon Ramsay now. <laughs> I'm filming! <laughs> I'm going to go. I just beeped that bit out. We've just upped anchor in lock slapping, sleeping. I'm sorry to all the Scottish people, but we've just upped anchor and we're heading out to Harp. Um, Lock Harport. Lock Harport. Um, so we're going to go whiskey tasting at Talisca. So Talisca Distillery. Quite looking forward to that. Some whiskey. Should be good. on me because he says he can't do it to himself because he's wearing cream trousers. Well, that's like a baby lobster pot look. I give you a baby lobster pot if you keep wiping your mucky hands when you're sticking your fingers in the winches. <laughs> it's so weird. Stop it. Stop! Matthew!
Gorgeous! We're just entering Harport Lock and it is freezing and back to traditional Scottish weather of rain. I don't know if you can see, the floor's all wet. We have a wet skipper. So we and we missed the Talisker tasting, so it's a sad day on Nova. But we'll get some tomorrow. But we'll get some tomorrow, and maybe the weather will be a little bit better. We're just coming up to Matthew's hometown. Over just there is the cave where Matthew popped out. <laughs> like an orc. Barg! And he was born. Yeah, nasty you are. To some. Saruman. Saruman? Yeah. I'm not an orc guy. Ruled by the wandering, born in the depths of the Scottish caves. Orcs! So far from Auckland! We successfully anchored in the bay that we wanted to. Uh, behind me is Talisker, so we're going to head in there tomorrow when it opens at 10 am. Breakfast. Uh, Matt's downstairs trying to find the hose or the adapter for it so that we can wash down the deck because I got mud everywhere when bringing up the anchor this morning. He's made me take off my wellies. Yeah, so I'm walking around barefoot and I've been banned to the top of here until he's washed me down on the decks. Matthew's found his new blue hose. He's off to wash the decks. You're ready for our amazing high powered pump. It's a messy job Very this sailing. True. Matthew's gonna clean it all off. <laughs> <laughs> What's that supposed to wash? <laughs> this is what me and my dad were laughing at, Paige. <laughs> you're just liquefying it, you're not doing anything. <laughs> After our hose was an epic fail, Matthew resorted to his bucket and dangling it over the deck and splashing it everywhere. So now, not only has the windlass been clean and the anchor, we've got clean decks. Well, it's kind of dirty at the minute where all the water's gone. Join us next time as Matthew spends our entire budget on a bottle of whiskey and we seek refuge from a gale. Thanks for watching guys, if you like that then please go below and give us a thumbs up. And subscribe to see more of our videos and leave comments with the bits you liked and didn't like to help us make our videos better. You can also check us out on Facebook, Instagram and we have a website too so below we've put the link. And we hope to see you again soon. Bye Cheers. bye!